Hi, Timothy Unger here. I don't normally star GitHub repositories, but when I do, it's for a text editor named DTE. I also don't have an intro, but when I do, it's really bad. Okay, uh, I was writing a blog post today and it was on Debian Linux text editors. And one of them that I came across was DTE and I'm like, I've never heard of this. And so I went ahead and installed it. And it's absolutely awesome in its simplicity. Okay, so let's bring up a terminal here and let me uh, let me get rid of it. So, and I'll just show you how to install it. So let's purge DTE. Okay, and you see how much space it takes. Now let's let's auto remove everything as well. So we'll do sudo apt auto remove and okay and all right so we're removing some space here okay uh now let's clear this out let's do sudo apt install dt okay and we'll see how much space it actually takes and if you look here i don't know if you see it or not but it's taking a total of 362 kilobytes that's like three tenths of a megabyte so it basically takes like a medium size JPEG picture. That's that's how much this text editor takes. Okay, uh, so let's clear it out. Let's go into DTE. Okay, you see it's super simple. Okay, if I want to quit, I just do Control Q. Let's create a file name. Let's create it uh, Tim's Story .txt. and I can just start typing. So once upon a time, there was a YouTuber named Tim. He didn't get many views. Uh, and then we'll continue with our story. Uh, let's have this line two, line three. Uh, let's do line four. And let's say I want to duplicate line four. Oh, look at that. You know, I got I got one where, okay, maybe, maybe I have to space down, but let's, uh, let's do a line five. Okay, go back up. Oh yeah, I'm duplicating with Control C, Control V. That's awesome for coding to be able to duplicate a line that quickly. Um, but yeah, okay, I'm going to save it with Control S. But what else can we do? This is simplistic, but is it really? So let's take a look. I was writing this post, and I have all the stuff I can do. So Control C copies a line. Control X cuts a line. Control V pastes a line. Uh, it's easy to duplicate a line with Control C, Control V. Control Q quits. Control S saves, uh, shift and the arrow keys select text. Let's try that. So we'll do shift and oh, we're selecting some text. Let's just cut that text out and let's go down here and paste that text. Look at that. Okay. Um, we can also select forward with the forward and back arrow keys like that. Uh, you know, escape out of there. I actually hit. Well, whatever. Uh, I hit uh, another key there, but yeah. So control shift left moves the cursor left to select whole words. So let's uh, go here a little bit and do control shift left. And we'll see we're selecting entire words. Same thing with control shift right. It selects entire words. That's pretty cool. Uh, control Z undoes things. So um, Let's say, I don't know, I type line six and I do control Z. It undoes that. To redo it, I do control Y. Redoes, that's uh, typical. Um, we have command mode. Okay, so now we can run commands, all right? I haven't even gotten into this part. I don't know what kind of commands I can run, but I'm assuming I can, I can run some kinds of commands. Uh, so we can tab through the commands. Here, it looks like built in. I don't know what that is. We have to give some arguments. Uh, but let's go, let's keep going. Let's tab through this stuff. Um, change directory, center view, clear, uh, close, uh, command, compile. We can compile stuff right from this text editor. Um, we can copy stuff, we can cut, we can delete, we can delete to the end of the line, we can delete words. So we can do all these options with this simple, very small text editor. But what I really like about it is the simplicity. Control C, Control X, Control V, Control S, Control Q, and I can write. So if you're writing, this might be a text editor for you. There's not so many bells and whistles that gets in the way. There's no menu up there that's 
bugging you, uh, all that kinds of stuff. So, okay, and I can escape to get out of command mode there. So that's command mode. Um, Control F does a search. So let's search for five, uh, no, let's search for four. Oh, wow, we found four, okay. Uh, what a surprise. F3 can search next. So let's find the next four. Uh, let's see, I think it's F4. Whoops, I hit the wrong key there. Uh, F4 can search previous. So, okay, so we go 4, 4, and then we jumped up to the next 4 because that was the previous 4 before that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Control T opens a new tab. I haven't tried that one yet. So Control, oh, here's a new tab. Well, how about that? Um, let's Control S. We want to save it. Let's call this uh, Tim's second story dot txt we can save we can open up multiple tabs in this okay if i want to go to the first tab i think i can do alt one oh yeah i'm back to the first tab alt two to go to the second tab let's open another tab let's uh let's do control s and we'll save this as tim's third story okay dot txt okay so now uh i can write another story And you'll see up here there's a plus. That means I've added some stuff and I need to save. And now the plus goes away and there's a colon. Now I can do Alt-1, I can do Alt-3 to go back here, Alt-2. Very simple to move between files. Um, quite awesome. Uh, I want to close this tab. Let's say I want to close my second story, Control-W. Okay? It closes the second tab there. And you can see it now in the second tab is the third story. Let's close that one too. Okay, Control-W. Simple. Uh, this text editor has me really psyched. Let's look at the GitHub page that I uh, gave a star to. And the interesting thing is I've never heard about this text editor. No one's written blogs about it or done YouTube videos on it that I know of. And it's been around 14 years. So I don't know. Um, if I go back to here, let's check it out. We can go here, uh, license. Let's check out the license. It's got GNU. Uh, Level two, uh, software license, that's good. Um, let's check out some other stuff. Oh, uh, oh yeah, when was it updated? Five hours ago. It's being continuously updated. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one in my system. It's pretty cool. Uh, try it out if you want to. Um, I think it's a pretty nice text editor for editing simple text. It might not be something you want to use for programming, but for writing and maybe simple file edits, it's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, please give it a like so more people can learn about DTE. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, I do cover a lot of text editors. I was going to do uh, a video today on Prelude uh, configuration for Emacs. I'll get to that soon. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, Definitely subscribe. It does help the channel grow and it helps these videos get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.